Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Banished Season 1, Mountain Man. Let's get Edra loaded up here. I was thinking, since last episode, what we're going to export out. And I think, since we have the iron mine, and we have a good source of logs, I should probably go ahead and export out tools. So I'm going to go ahead and raise the tool limit. Oh, well, probably not to 115. Let's go to 30 first. Because tools typically are worth about 15 each. Which we were going to do firewood, but I don't think we have the wood production to actually pull off firewood. Because we're always struggling to hit our limits of firewood. So, tools though. Just take a little bit of wood and iron. We'll start with just iron tools. We'll eventually make our way up to steel tools. We'll do iron for now. Since my workers aren't doing anything, and I have nine of them, I don't really have anything else for them to do. I think we're going to go ahead and collect all the things over here. I was thinking one of my other goals is just to collect everything on the map. I think it would be hilarious. There's just nothing left. I've taken it all. We'll see if that happens or not. And really, I can't remember exactly what the achievement says here. It says that we need to reach a population of 50 people, so they're going to count children and everything in that list of how many people. So, as long as we can maintain a population of 50 for 20 years, we're at a population of 40 right now, so we're well on our way. We're getting pretty close to it. I think if we are going to up the tools, that will probably make another blacksmith, so that we can get more and more tools. Looks like we did not put roads here. Let's go ahead and put some roads in. Looks like they're path in kind of diagonal. So we'll do that. Across here. Kind of diagonal shoot of road here as well. Sure, if they'll follow a road if. Aha! Looks like I can put a road there. Excellent. It's kind of interesting how they'll dig down into this to make the road. Yeah, you can't build anything there. Alrighty. Good, good. Looks like this forester's doing good. Bringing in a couple hundred logs, which, which is good. It's always nice. So our firewood is low. We might even need this many houses, this many people. We might think about getting another another fire cutter, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. If we feel if we feel like we need it, we'll go ahead and get it. But I'm really not thinking we need it. Not right now. Most of it's just them putting this stuff inside their houses. Looks like we're already pushing our limit of 30. Let's bump it up to 50. Because this right here, it's producing us quite a bit. I mean, we have a lot of laborers that really aren't doing anything. Let's just throw them into the mines. They're old enough. They can go in the mines. That'll leave us five laborers. Ten people in the mine. There's not a lot in the mines. That should be producing lots of iron now. I mean, we already hit over last year's total. And we might want to think about finding another mine location to start getting coal. Because when we start getting coal, we can start building steel tools. They last longer than iron tools as far as durability. But they also sell for more. I think they would go for 20 instead of 15. Let's check. We, I know the first merchant typically takes a little while to show up. Doesn't look like he's shown up yet, so... We will see how things are going down here. With our five people that are just cutting away. Let's designate the rest of it. Why not? Just get it all. Not very efficient use of our workers, but you know what? I don't care. We're gonna cut it all down. Gather everything. It's one of my goals. Gather it all. <laughs> Leave the animals with nothing to eat. I also think it'd be kinda cool to make a tunnel through here, just cause it's a huge mountain. But, yeah, it's not really high on my priority list. So, I think we have 5,600 food. I think we could probably afford 
Uh, we don't have a lot of steel. Maybe we need to but maybe we need to jack this up and just go all out into our steel production. Yeah, put them all into the mines. Max it out. We're just gonna get iron like crazy. Looks like they path along this area quite a bit as well, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and just surround this area. And the firewood is low. Everyone probably just restock their houses. Because so we have this worker. All he's done. Oh. Problem is is he went off to go cut wood. We went off to go collect. Probably had enough firewood that everyone came in and grabbed it all. Looks like... Yeah, looks like everybody is adults. We haven't had anyone die yet. No one's even died of old age. Our original populations getting up into the 50s and 60s, it looks like. We got a 34-year-old and a 19-year-old making babies. A little bit of an age difference there. Uh, there's some 50s, I mean... We don't want to expand too quickly, but we don't want to expand too slowly either, because we got people that can move out. Looks like our iron. I want to see how much this produces. This produces quite a bit of iron, and I don't think it's counting the iron that's just sitting here as our iron, because it's not in a stockpile. So I think that we actually have more iron than that's showing because of that, and I think now that we've kind of cut our workers down, let's let's not get all this stuff. It's just too far away. Way, way, way too far away. So we'll just cancel all that, let them bring home what we got. We got quite a bit of it. The wood supply is up really high. Our tools are dropping down, probably because we have more people. Oh, trading post. Probably don't have anything to trade him. All he's brought is firewood. So he's a resource merchant. Which means he can bring stone. Ooh. Stone is good. We like stone. Hmm. I'm not sure if this guy can keep up with the firewood demands. Maybe we should make... Some more, some more people. Maybe we should make uh, another woodcutter because he is struggling. We can always turn off the woodcutter later if necessary. Problem is we don't really have that many people because we threw them all in the mines. I mean, we can pull them out of the mines if we need to, but we produced quite a bit of iron last year. Kind of want to let it go one season, see how much iron we're producing with a full amount of 15 people in there. I definitely want to start tool production. Maybe I'm going to need to start building some things over here. It's a little far. I mean, we got wood right here to for the woodcutter. I guess it's not that bad. You know what? Well, I don't know. Our food is trending down. Maybe we're going to need more food production. Should we? Maybe we need another fisher set. Build another fisher's hut. They're a little bit further down the river. Right here, a little further up the river. Let's try that out. Let's see what it looks like. So, I'd get quite a bit of water in it. I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, but if there's more of the circle of water, they'll produce more fish. I don't know, maybe that's not true. <laughs> I, I'm not sure. That has a... Well, actually, that's a really good location. I like that. We're going to put a fisher's hut right there. Also put a gatherer's barn down pretty close to here. Really great. Right there. You know, we're back up to quite a bit of food, so... We've had our first person die of old age, our gatherer, so we replaced it with that worker. So 
we're gonna get rid of our builder real quick. And hmm, our woodcutter got up to a hundred. Maybe we should up our limit of fuel so we don't keep constantly running out. Man, what happened to our tools? I wonder if they use their tools up quicker in the mine? Maybe? I don't know. I guess, uh, I want to see how much a full production mine is going to take as far as how much resources it'll make. Because that will really determine if we go into the tool making business or if we decide not to, because we need iron. Oh, another person just became an adult, he's working as a laborer, good. Bring over the stone, oh, we're out of stone again, man. Stone. I knew it was going to be a, a horrible, horrible thing. I should have ordered some stone. I don't know, we might be forced into a quarry. I really don't want to. I, I hate being forced into a quarry when I don't have a lot of space. Can't even build another mine until I get enough wood. Not wood, stone. Mm. I guess we're just gonna have to hope that a trader comes back and he brings stone. But I don't have anything to trade, that's the problem. Trade him iron. It's not gonna work very well. Perhaps we will have to go into the wood cutting business. Just put a whole bunch of foresters' lodges, which require stone. Hmm. This is not good. <laughs> Let's see here. It's late autumn. I, I have to pull some people out of here in order to properly fish this. So. Let's pull four people out. Four more fishers in. So, with mostly max people, I mean, we probably would have pulled 125-ish iron from that, which, which is a good amount. We don't, we don't really need that unless we're going to start pumping up our tools. The issue is... We have nothing to trade. Yeah, it's a dilemma. What are we gonna trade? I originally thought we'd trade tools, but we're having a hard time keeping tools in supply. We can't build another blacksmith because it requires stone. We have no access to any stone currently. We'd have to build a bridge to get to stone, but bridge requires stone. This whole area is, is rich in resources. If we could just build a small little bridge here, we could walk all the way around and get all the stone. I guess... let's go ahead and put a couple tools in here. We have 11, so let's put 8 tools in here. So we have preparation for some tools. Yeah, it's not a lot, but I think our best bet is going to be tools. Making tools and exporting them out for goods. Firewood is low again. Alright, so we had a couple more people become laborers. Our children population is low. This is not good for us. I'll designate a small stockpile out here. And collect the rest of this. Firewood's low. We know firewood's low. We just need them to do something. We got people sitting around with nothing to do. Gather up all that. Seems like a lot more people than there should be going out to that. My food limit max? No. Constantly making tools. Taylor's probably out there. Holy cow. Our tool supply is low. They must be work working in the mines, must use the tools up faster. 
There's no other explanation. That's gotta be it. I can't think of, of why else our tools would be used so quickly. Like that's gotta be gotta be the reason. That makes sense, right? You're you're mining and requires tools to get it. The merchants arrive. Tell me you brought me some stone. That's what I really need. Corn seeds? I do not have the room to grow, let alone plant. So, hmm. Food-wise, we're staying steady. I mean, we've been fluctuating between five and 7,000, so that's not really a big concern of mine. The big concern is this woodcutter's having a hard time keeping up, and our tools, like, it's, it's our tools are struggling to keep up. Where's our, where's our tool person working at? Okay, so he lives really close. Kind of paths around, so maybe I will just build a road. Go around. It's not like... Not like I'm going to build anything there, so... Just put a road there, that's fine. Yeah. I don't know, I mean, we have quite a big... O bit of open area here. We we could do a quarry. I'm just not really... I, I don't know. What do you guys think? Leave a, leave a comment if you're watching this. Should I build a quarry? Should I just wait for stone to come from the merchant and build another blacksmith? That way I can get more tools. I mean, I, I can't really build anything else. I mean, houses, everything takes stone. The only thing that doesn't take stone is a quarry. So that's my conundrum I'm in. My food is pretty stable. My population is not going to be growing because my young people aren't pairing off. They're just living with their parents. I mean, I'll eventually have some people die off and maybe they'll start having some more babies. But I don't even know if that's going to happen really need stone. Hmm. Like, this fisher's hut's just not going to be productive at all. I, I mean, it's decently productive, it's just got a long way to walk to put the food away. And I'm sure they're walking a decent amount for where they live. Not too far. Let's displace some of these guys a little far away, though. guys are walking from a distance. This guy isn't. Um, I thought my alerts told me there was another trading post person. I was like, what? Mm -hmm. Alrighty. My tools are still low. Like, he's slowly... Like, <laughs> he's non-stop making tools. That's all they're doing. Just tools, tools, tools as fast as they can. So over there making them, putting them in the barn. Grabbing some more iron, making them, putting them in the barn. That's all he's doing. He's pretty happy as a blacksmith, I guess. He's, he's just a, a working away. I mean, I guess I could pull this away and, and scrap it, but it's only five. Only five stone, not even enough for a house. I'd need eight to get a house. I mean, there's really no close place for a quarry either, unless I'm going to build it in my food area, which I don't want to do. This area is still... It's not bringing quite in as much as it used to. I'm not sure why. This right here shouldn't really be bringing anything in. Actually, probably can pull... I probably pull one of the people out of this, because we don't need two people running around planting, but I really don't have anything else for them to do anyway, so... Golly. You always hit some type of problem while playing, and I guess my problem is stone. Go ahead and collect the rest of this. I mean, I don't think there's any stone hidden anywhere. Unless there's... Well, that's iron. Oh, it would have been so nice if there's a little bit of stone hidden away up here. Is that stone? No, that's iron as well. More iron. Yeah, I think I've... I think I've... Uh, oh, wait, there's a little bit of stone here. 
Let's get it. Our one little thing of stone. It's the most important thing in the world, boys. Get that stone. There he runs off to get it. Oh no, that's a child. Can they even get it? Yeah, they must be able to get it. Yeah, I think they've already gotten it. Oh no, they hammered it out. Sitting under the tree. I love the baby deer. Those are, those are so cool. Like, the detail in this game is amazing. I love it. I love having the baby deer there and there. Grazing along, eating, growing up. Man, if only, if only. I wonder how much stone that would give us. If that gives us enough stone to build a little bridge, that would be amazing. Because then I could get my stone and I would be out of this crisis. How much stone would it take? Actually, it only takes five stone. If I cancel that barn for now, and go get that stone, my stone crisis could be over. No, I'm gonna do it. Gather that stone back up. No merchant yet. Bring that stone back. Did someone cut this down and still not retrieve it? No, it's been retrieved. Six stone, it must have been one stone's worth. Wow. This is like, just barely enough to actually get anything. My question is, should I just jump over this and get this first? I'm not sure if I can go up and get this. Seems like a better option to get over here. But there's quite a bit of stone here as well, and it's right next to a stockpile. Let's make this short jump with the anticipation of making this jump if we can't go get this stuff. Six stone. Is there a place where it's a little less? Six stone. Like I just barely have enough for this. It's wow. <laughs> All right, he's finally catching up on tools. Let's put five more tools in here. That put us up to thirteen tools. Yeah, just in time for the merchant to come. What do you have for us? brought wool coats. I guess iron tools only worth eight. I, they're different for for each vendor. Well, I really don't need coats. I've got leather coats and we're happy. We don't want your wool coats. Alright, so our next item of business, we're going to build this bridge and hopefully end our stone crisis. Because if we can start getting more blacksmiths up making tools then we'll start exporting tools and we'll start requesting stone to build our stuff. But I think I'm going to go ahead and take a break here and I will be back later. Yeah, I think so. Thank you all for watching. Leave a comment. Throw a like in there if you've enjoyed this. I'm having a lot of fun. It's only been a couple days and I'm having a blast. But thank you all and have a good one.